This is example 7.1. 7.1 reads, an object has a moment of inertia of 150 kilograms times meter squared. A torque of 72 newton meters is applied to the object. What is the resulting angular acceleration? First, let's write down all that we know. We know that moment of inertia is 150 kilograms meters squared. We know that our torque, which is used interchangeably with moment, is 72 newton meters. We're trying to solve for angular acceleration. So we know an equation that uses all three of these things. That is net moment equals moment of inertia times angular acceleration. So we're going to fill in what we know and then solve for angular acceleration. So our moment is 72 newton meters equals 150 kilogram meters squared times angular acceleration. We're going to do a little bit of algebra to solve for angular acceleration. We'll plug this into our calculator. Our answer is 0 0.48 radians over seconds squared. This is our angular acceleration. The reasons this is radians is because in lecture we learned that the angular acceleration must be in radians when the moment of inertia is in kilograms per meter squared and the torque or moment is in newton meters. This is example 7.1.